Hi everyone. In this demonstration we're going to be looking at the process of distillation. Distillation can be used to separate the components of a solution. The solution that we're going to be working with is a solution of salt water. I've also added some red food coloring and you're going to see what happens to that during the distillation process. So, so in order to uh, take a better look at this process we need to uh, better understand our distillation apparatus. The basic parts. We have a distillation flask and you're going to notice I've stoppered this. I also have inserted a probe so that we can measure the temperature of vapors that are going to be generated uh, right here. There's also a tube that comes off the side of the flask which enters into this tube, a, a condenser tube. And uh, the condenser tube has an inlet for water right down here. So we have water coming from the sink. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that on right now. I've turned the water on. Again, the water is entering through the bottom inlet right down here, and there's water flowing out right through here, through this tubing, back into the sink. The purpose of the cold water flowing through the condenser tube, which is actually two tubes, there's an inner tube and an outer tube. The outer tube has the water flowing through it. Uh, the purpose of the water flowing through that outer tube is to keep the glass on the inside of the condenser tube cold and this is going to help to condense the vapors that are formed during the distillation process. What I need to do next is to turn on my Bunsen burner. So let's go ahead and do that. I made things a little tricky for myself here but I think I can manage. There we go. And I just want to adjust the flame on my Bunsen burner a bit to get a good flame which is going to allow us to heat our solution of salt water and food coloring. So this heating process is going to take a little while in order to get this solution to boil. I'm going to go ahead and turn on a temperature probe at this time. Let's take a look at the temperature of the vapors at the top of the distillation flask. So we're looking at what are the temperature of the gases right up in this region. Currently they're measuring 31.832 degrees Celsius. So we can see that we're heating that flask and we can see our condenser tube. Again, we have water flowing in from the sink right here. You can see this tubing coming down right here. So cold water is flowing in. We can see that water is flowing up the condenser tube and then the outlet is coming right down here. So we have water flowing back down into the sink right here. And then when we take a closer look at the condenser tube, we can see that there's water flowing through the outer tube and the very inner tube. This is where the vapors from the distillation process are going to pass. Because they're coming into contact with cold glass, those vapors are going to condense. Remember the solution that we're distilling is a solution of salt water and red food coloring added to it. I've brought in a conductivity tester that's this device right here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on and I'm going to test first some distilled water. You can hear a small amount of beeping telling us that there's a small amount of conductivity from the distilled water. Let's compare this to what we see if we're testing salt water. We hear a much louder tone. This is telling us that the salt water is very, very good at conducting electricity. Distilled water, purified water, should not conduct electricity at all. This tells me that my uh, sample of water here does have some dissolved particles in it, but not nearly as many as my salt water solution. Let's get an update on the temperatures of the vapors which are uh, forming in the distillation flask. We're able to see that there's slight bubbling, a little bit of bubbling starting to occur in the distillation flask. We certainly can see condensation on the inside of the flask and our temperatures have reached 94, almost 95 degrees Celsius on the inside of the flask. This means that our solution is just about ready to boil. So here we can see that the contents of the distillation flask are starting to, starting to boil and we can see that there are vapors forming we can see condensation on the inside of the distillation flask. Now, the exciting thing is, 
what's happening on the other end of the condensation tube. We can see drop by drop water. Now these, uh, the water droplets that are collecting here in this beaker are the result of condensation of vapors formed here which are passing through this tubing coming into contact with cold, colder, and coldest glass and the cold surfaces are causing the water vapor to condense to form liquid water which we're collecting in the beaker right down here. We can see that we have a nice boil going inside of our distillation flask. We can see that the temperature is reading right now 100 degrees the boiling point of water. Here we can see the contents of our collection beaker. We can see its drops of purified water definitely not seeing any of the red food coloring passing through here. Let's test to see if any of the salt is coming through our distillation process. The results of our experiment uh, really inform us about the nature of the contents of the solution that we're distilling. Water is a volatile compound, meaning it can be moved from the liquid phase into the gas phase. The red food coloring, the dye, is a non-volatile solute. That means it does not uh, convert easily into the gas phase, or it's not going to convert into the gas phase at all. The same is true for the salt. The sodium chloride is not going to enter into the gas phase. If we kept heating this, eventually we would be left with a crusty red residue. The red color would be from the food coloring. The crusty residue would be the uh, salt crystals which would form once we've removed all of the water from the distillation flask. So let's try those conductivity tests with our collected water and just as a reminder, our salt water solution. Let's do the salt water solution first. You can hear that tone indicating that there's conduction of electricity in the water. We have no tone at all, letting us know that we have successfully purified the water from our salt water red food coloring solution. Thanks for watching, everybody.